Hey everyone, in this video we will see how to find the factor tree of 66. Why do we use factor tree? Factor tree is used to find the prime factorization of any given number. So this is one of the method to find the prime factors. Why this name factor tree? Because for any number you split it into two factors and when you split it, it looks like a branches of a tree and that is why we got this name factor tree. Here we have a number 66, so we have to split 66. How to split it? Now we have to split it into two factors. You can take two factors, but make sure that when you split it, the factors should get multiplied to get 66. So 66 factors are 2 and 3, but 2 times 3 is 6, not 66. So you have to think of a two factors or else you can use times table like 6 times 11 is 66. 2 times 33 is 66. So best is to use the times table. So just think of a times table where you get 66. Let's take, uh, we'll go with, here we have a 2, 1, 2 options, 6 and 11 or 22, sorry, 2 or 33. We can pick any one and we can split it. So here we'll take 6 and 11. So 6 times 11 is 66. So we'll write 6 here and 11 here. Now after this you have to check if any of this number is a prime number or composite. Here 11 is a prime number. So if it is a prime number you have to circle that number. Why are we doing it? Because prime numbers cannot be split further. So we'll stop. The branch will stop there. And next we have a number 6. Now 6 is a composite number. We can split it further. So we have to split it into two factors and like 2 times 3 is 6 so we can write as 2 and 3. Here 2 and 3 both are prime numbers so we'll circle them. So we can circle 2 and 3. Now these are the prime factors of 66. So how can we write this? So 66 is equals to we have to multiply all the prime factors. We'll start with small number. And we'll write 2, 3 and 11. So 2 times 3 times 11 is 66. So this is the prime factorization of 66. Now you may ask like is this only the factor tree of number 66? No. Like we have number 2 and 33. We can 6, 66 can be split into 2 and 33. In this case it will look different. Here 2 is a prime number so we'll circle it. And 33 is a composite number we can split it further so which number or which times table we get 33 3 times 11 is 33 so we can split it into 3 and 11 both are prime number circle it you can see that the factors we obtained here is 2 3 and 11 we can write it as 2 times 3 times 11 which is same as the one we obtained before though the factor tree look different but the prime factors we obtained is same so it doesn't matter how the factor tree look like the only thing matters is the factors we obtain should be same like it should be correct so this is how you can find the prime factors of any number using factor tree if you have further questions or doubts on this concept or any other concept drop a comment below thank you so much for watching